Okay, we're down to item number 12, the solar facility moratorium. Uh, that's you, David. Yes, the, uh, <clears throat> the suggested ordinance for imposing a one-year moratorium on the acceptance processing or consideration of applications for solar arrays uh, pursuant to NC General Statutes 153A 340H uh, appears uh, on page 142, 143, and 144. Um, uh, yep, that's right. Um, and uh, we have now had our Two public hearings so it's a question of whether or not you all want to consider that okay so uh, got a motion by Commissioner Evans mm -hmm. okay is there a second second okay and second by Commissioner Brand now we're uh, open for discussion and comment uh, Mr. Chairman I'd just like to get this on record if we approve this moratorium it can be removed at any time. Yes. Or it can be renewed at any time at yes. the end of the first year. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now the way it's written, it's it's for one year. Or one year. We can renew it, but then, if need be, we can renew it. Uh, what is it? I don't think you can renew it. Ninety days before. I think that. I, I think so. I think yeah. that's what you told yeah. me one time. Go through the process again. There's some there's some statutory language in there that addresses that, but but you but remember a moratorium is put in place so that it gives you time to act right. on your ordinance. So the concern would be that you take more than a year to work on this ordinance. We're going way way too slow. Oh, <laughs> I don't disagree with you on that. <laughs> well, the, when we finish the ordinance, to the moratorium dies. I you can kill them. It well. You can kill it as a part of passing the ordinance. If you if you look at some of the language that's in the moratorium, uh, we've talked about two things at the state level that we have no control over. Uh, that's this state uh, tax statute of 20%. That's number one, and number two is a decommissioning. Uh, you know, we get we get told by people in the industry and people at NC State that at the end of 25 years this has another or, or is producing at 80 percent and I'm just throwing that out I think it's 80 percent in so it still does have the ability to continue to produce electricity uh, my biggest concern and reason that I I supported and wanted to do the moratorium is that I've been around 69 years and I've seen one uh, better not use that word since this is being televised, but we've seen a lot of change in technology. I mean, just think about the old bag phone that we used to haul around on the cell for a cell phone and what we're using now and the capability of just that smartphone. If somebody comes out with, with a, a device that's the size of a generator uh, that we're already using in your homes that you could use 24-7, you know, technology is going to change. So. It's true, it might have a productive life, it might be still producing, but my number one concern is technology, and, and the market will take, can take care of that. Uh, and what I have tried to say is that the industry and the state is leaving the, the county in a heck of a position because we, we have sinking funds in other industries to clean up at the end if there's a problem but there is no sinking fund we all of these contracts depend on either the owner or the LLC to clean it up that's not good enough I mean we got to have a sinking fund that'll clean these up if there is any problem and people just walk away from it uh, it's a little bit different than a house a little bit different than a warehouse uh, I mean I sure wouldn't want one of these things out there uh, with a fence around it from nine to eternity uh, so that's the reason of having 12 months on there. It's not just about doing the ordinance part and and working with the buffers and uh, and the setbacks and the landscaping. So that's that was the whole purpose of trying to go, you know, beyond 90 days or 120 days by going out there. Uh, 
if, if if we're able to see some actions and things happen, we can lift it at any time. But it's more than the committee just coming back and the commissioner saying the setback's going to be 125 or 500, and we're going to require you know trees to be planted in front of the fence, that sort of thing. Um, okay. One more thing. Uh, Hood just said something, uh, Mr. Attorney. Commissioner Richardson just said something that if, if we enact that, the ordinance, does it automatically kill the moratorium at that time, or do we have to vote, the, vote on killing the moratorium? Your, your vote is to pass the moratorium. Mm -hmm. So, and once, they're, they're, and once, we, once we get the ordinance the way we wanted to bring it to the board, if it passes, does it automatically kill the moratorium? Not automatically. You, you could put that as part of your ordinance. Okay. Yeah. Or you could do it separately. You could, you know, withdraw your moratorium. Right. Yeah. But you would have to do one or the other. But if I remember correctly, when we were coming up with the with the time, whether it was six months, twelve months, twenty-four months, is we had to state a reason in there, and we've stated in in this resolution the things that I just mentioned as it relates to the uh, tax situation and the decommission. It says it's anticipated that the minimum number of days will be required to complete that process, and we had said one year, right, or three hundred sixty-five days. Well. Commissioner Booth says we're probably not going to get the state to make the change, but yeah. <laughs> you know we got to make an effort. We got to make an effort and try to. Mr. I, Chairman, I, Mr. Chairman, I think I have two a senator and a representative that's willing to go to bat for us on the uh, um, the tax abatement. Okay. They get it into Mr. the legislation. Commissioner Evans, is the legislature going into a short or a long session next year? Do we know? Short. Short. Sure. Yeah, but they they've. So that'll help they, us. They talk to me about it. I've had discussions. Uh, we'll get an answer on that. No, there's always the long session is the first. You have to, right after the election, and the short session is always the second time, guys. I mean, it's been that way forever. And I, I Mr. Chairman, I think on a tax issue, we have the state now that's done away with it, and we have the federal government. It's going to be $12.3 billion if the tax bill goes through as it's written. Uh, we'll raise $12.3 billion in new taxes over the solar uh, uh, energy facilities. Um, by, by repealing an inflation increase for the renewable energy uh, production. So they used to keep get all these tax breaks. Now the government's estimating a new tax bill that they'll raise that and the government will receive $12.3 billion. So we have the federal government taking steps, we have the state taking steps, but it's still on our backs, on the backs of the taxpayers. The, the letter that the uh, commissioners received from the North Carolina Sustainable Energy Association uh, had, had a number, and I'll read this to you, in December of 2016, solar installations occupied approximately 0.2% uh, of North Carolina's total cropland. Uh, when the site in Tiracia is completed, it will occupy 0.8% in Bedford County, which is four times the state. Uh, it's a little bit unfair to criticize us when you're looking at 100 counties and, t and doing the statistics. They are counties that are heavily into the solar. So just so that everybody will know, we'll be approaching 1% of our cropland in Buffett County after the site is completed in Tarasite. Any other comments? All right, I'm, I want to make a comment. All right. I I'm not going to be able to vote for the moratorium for several reasons. Number one, the, the people who were proposing the solar farm made their concessions that the school said that they wanted, and, and I felt like everybody in the Terracia area had gotten what they wanted. Uh, I don't know why we're still beating this dead horse. Uh, the second uh, reason is we already have an ordinance that regulates solar farms. And if you want to change the setbacks, if that's what you're talking about doing is changing the setbacks, or changing whatever, I mean, you can change it within the ordinance that you already have. The toxicity thing that's you being used to scare the public is simply not true. 
Uh, we can't, I can't tell you, no, what, no one has, tell me somebody that's been killed by what's called RES, rare earth elements. They haven't been. It doesn't get into the human system. The, the ions that make up RES are quite a bit different from what is used to sustain human life. And it's their uniqueness that makes them so valuable. And, and the things that they do, like super magnetics, and these things are in cell phones and everything else. You can't, you cannot have modern technology without these things. Uh, I think the business about who's going to clean up the farm. I think there are going to be ten people standing there to clean up the farm, because these things are recyclable, and and they are in very very short supply. Some of these things cost three and four thousand dollars a pound. So, you know, you tell me that, that somebody's not going to come and get them if you stop using them. So, you know, I think I just, and property rights is the last issue. We've had people come in here who say, I have property in Beaufort County. The income, regardless of what you're being told about losses on this land, there are no losses on this. The, the income from an acre lease on this far exceeds anything that you're going to get out of agricultural uses and I cannot deny the citizens of Beaufort County the right to use their land to make a better income than they could otherwise make. Now I support the changing of the taxes and a whole bunch of other things that go along with this. There are some really bad things about it. And the heavy handed way the government has gone about paying subsidies on this and that sort of thing. But it's not up to me to try to to damage the people of Beaufort County while I'm trying to stop a political event that took place in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Washington, D.C. Any other commissioner? If not, uh, we've got a motion and a second. All those in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. Four. Those opposed? Three. So the motion carries. Okay. <coughs> Item number 13.